you can change who you are from like one minute to the next and like hair is the easiest way to do that or makeup or the way that you dress. Um, but hair's the most fun. My name is Renee Matthews. I am a multidisciplinary artist. Today we are deconstructing a pair of jeans piece by piece to harvest fabric from them. My process for deconstruction is basically just cutting out sections, deciding on the length that I want, and just pulling, just pulling apart piece by piece. This is the most fun part. It's the most tedious, but it's so much fun. When it gets like more into like the little like tiny picking apart, that's a lot more headache inducing, I guess, but still fun. My relationship to picking has been lifelong and I didn't realize that until I think I started, or like maybe a year before I started doing this, I realized that I'd been doing it my whole life. Um, I'm like, I'm even doing it now. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like it's always been, I think, just like a like stress coping mechanism. Like I just automatically start picking and stuff. Like it used to be um, like the bottom of my feet when I was like really young, I would like pick at that. And then I think in high school, like I was like constantly like rubbing my forehead. And then recently it's been like my hands. Um, so doing the denim deconstruction felt good to kind of put it into like a constructive and creative mode rather than borderline self-harm. Yeah. Deconstruction opens up like an entire new way of looking at it. You're not really thinking of it as like, oh, this is something that I could wear in a completely different way. With the pin, I'm just separating or like loosening the weave so that it's easier to get a grip on to pull out denim forms these strands and just behave so similarly to hair it was like, okay, yeah, this is gonna work really well as a wig. Anything that forms into strands automatically can be manipulated and worked with the same way as hair. Today we are about to reconstruct all of the tiny little pieces of denim that we took apart. Construction of the actual wig itself would take about 26 hours. I just like that idea of like it being kind of like an everyday whatever thing that you don't think about and being able to make something great or at least beautiful or something from what you can just look at as something that's kind of ordinary to begin with. They're not obviously current replacements for wigs, but in like a very like almost Jetsons type of way, like I hope that this is like the beginning of thinking about other ways that we can change our hair and wear our hair and play around with identity. 